as you all know that the admissions to various courses at Delhi University have already started. So in this series, we are going to today talk about the ad admission process to Bachelors of Economics Honours course at Delhi University. Other than that, we will also talk about various career options available to students after doing their BA Economics Honours and the course content and the curriculum. So today we have Mr. Ritwik Khanna with us. He is pursuing his Bachelors of Economics Honours from Hansraj College, Delhi University. Ritwik is also the General Secretary of Hansraj Economic Society and is a working member of Inactus Hansraj. And Ritwik uh, was also the research assistant under the President Delhi Football Association. He is a football coach for Bhai Chang Bhutia Football Schools at Gurugram. Welcome to eSchool channel, Ritwik. Thank you, ma'am. Pleasure to be here. Uh, so, Ritwik, moving on to your first question. My first question to you is kindly tell our students that what is the admission process to Bachelors of Economics Honours course at Delhi University. So the admission process this year has, is completely online. Uh, you have to log on to the DU official website and make your own account and fill in all the details and upload documents. Apart from that, for Economics Honours, you it is compulsory to have studied maths in 11th and 12th. And this year, the change that has occurred from previous years is that if you have not studied Economics in your 11th and 12th, then there will be a deduction of 2.5 marks as opposed to 1% earlier uh, from your best of four marks. All right. So, uh, Ritwik, moving on to second question, as you mentioned that uh, uh, maths is a must at plus two level. So, how is economics at college uh, undergraduate level different from economics at school level? I mean, is, is it uh, the requirement is there for a lot of math when you study economics honors at college level? Kindly talk about it. Yes, yes I'm certainly there is a lot of maths involved and that surprises a lot of students as well. You have to study a mathematical subject compulsorily in your four, first four semesters. And apart from that, uh, the economics in college as compared to school is more evolutionary in nature. We study the evolution of economic theory and not just the theory itself, which is what we do in school. So the content matter in school and college first year especially is similar, but it is of a much higher level and much more in-depth analysis of the theory itself. All right. So if a student uh, who has studied mathematics at 12th standard but is not very inclined towards math, what would you suggest to that student? Should that student take up the plain BA economics course, pass course, or should that student take up economics honors course? They should take uh, economics honors. The math is not a hindrance. Uh, it is not very difficult as well. It just becomes slightly tedious at times. But with a little bit of effort, it can be done. And certainly the economics part of it becomes easier when you have studied more maths with it. So right. not being very confident in maths should not be a dissuasive for students. All right. That's, that's a very important information you've given because this is a very common question that the aspirants to economics honors course generally ask. So my next question to you is, can you please give an insight into undergraduate level economics course? What, what is the course content like? And um, what is expected of you when you uh, go through this course? Okay, so firstly, like I said that for the first four semesters, we have one compulsory mathematical course. Along with that, uh, we have my, microeconomics and macroeconomics, introductory in the first year and intermediate in the second year. And apart from that, you we get to choose a general elective course, which can be any other subject apart from economics itself. So what a lot of students tend to choose is either commerce because either commerce or mathematics because it's complementary to the course itself. Apart from that, in the second year, we get an additional subject called uh, skill enhancement course, which is uh, contemporary economic issues and research methodology in each semester. So these are more practical in nature. And under research methodology, especially, you have to write a research paper, which is actually very fun. And uh, it is very rewarding if you are properly interested in economics. In the first year, uh, we have an ability enhancement compulsory course, 
which is uh, EVS and English. Those are basic courses for refining our certain skills. In the third year, you get to uh, choose some specific courses. Uh, first, you have two core courses in the form of developmental economics and uh, Indian economics. And apart from that, you can to choose two uh, discipline specific electives. So there are a lot of options in that, uh, such as applied econometrics, game theory, financial economics, and public economics. So that is the basic structure of the course, uh, the subjects that you study. And so in each semester, you have a combination of practical, mathematical, and theoretical subjects. All right. Thank you so much, Ritwik. That was very detailed and comprehensive. So uh, now, uh, after you've graduated from a college, what are various career options which are available to a student after um, uh, economics honors? So after economics, you can do a postgraduate in economics. This usually leads to a further doctorate or a career in academia and public policy, working for think tanks and evaluating public policy. Apart from that, you can go for a job immediately afterwards. And this is usually as a, in the role of consultant or analyst. Apart from that, there are certain professional courses that you can study, actuarial sciences, financial resource management, uh, uh, which will, which again give you the, which are basically focused towards risk analysis and working for uh, multinational corporations. Okay. That's and, great. Uh, a lot of students also pursue the, also choose to do MBA after economics honors. Yeah. So they write their CAT exam. And I'm sure a lot of students must be going for the administrative services and civil services as well, those who are interested in that. Yes, yes. UPSC courses as well. Yes. So, uh, Ritwik, since you mentioned that a number of students choose to take up post-graduation also, could you a little bit elaborate on that, that what are the various available options to do post-graduation in economics uh, in India? Yeah. So, uh, within India, there are a lot of top-tier institutes, uh, Delhi School of Economics, JNU, ISI, Kolkata, and almost all of the ent entry to all these institutions is exam based. So the marks that you achieve through graduation do not hold that much value because they are, you have to write an entrance exam after uh, towards the end of your third year. While for uh, postgraduate outside India, uh, the prime places are UK, Paris and Singapore. Uh, they have very good courses. UK courses are more traditional and while well, Paris and Singapore, uh, Paris School of Economics and Sciences Po, they have uh, very uh, new courses and they have targeted towards public policy specifically. But again, though, those are very expensive and scope for scholarships is also very competitive. All right. Okay. That's great. That was uh, very good information for the students. Now, Ritwik, my last question to you for the day is, can you give an insight into the profile of an economic student at college and what extracurricular activities one must take uh, when one is pursuing uh, honors, economics honors at undergraduate level? So whatever extracurriculars that a student undertakes, they should be a, a mixture of both your interests and of uh, value addition to you as a person and to your profile. So uh, I would certainly recommend joining a society in DU college because societies are very uh, rewarding. You learn a lot and you, uh, you get a lot of social capital as well in societies. Apart from that, internships are an absolute must because they give you more practical uh, knowledge of whatever field you want to pursue. And uh, uh, apart from internships, if you wish to pursue in the postgraduate, then you should also focus on writing a couple of research papers in your college. They yes. do not necessarily need to be high level, but it is certainly recommended, if you, especially if you want to pursue a postgraduate in economics. Yes. So they should all go towards building your core competencies. That's, that's very rightly brought out because looking at your profile itself, I could see that you were pursuing your interest in football and doing your research. <laughs> as well in football. So that's great. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, Ritvik, for speaking to our students and coming to eSchool. And uh, my request to all the viewers is to stay tuned and keep subscribing. We are going to get you more such videos.